The title of this video is Scalp Laxity Exercise and Measurement for Minimal Donor Scar. Hello, I'm Dae Young Kim in Seoul, Korea. I will introduce our experience about prevention methods of wide donor scar at preoperative state. First, scalp exercise is increased the laxity. And, we can estimate a safe width of donor strip, use the loxometer. Dr. Jerry Wong said that, preoperative scalp exercise, will loosen any tight scalp. It should commence at least 4 to 6 weeks before surgery. These stretches may increase the yield by as much as 1500 to 1800 follicular units. For active participation, and easy approach, the educational video was sent to the patient's email, or smartphone, and links on YouTube. This is the educational video in our clinic. 안녕하세요. 압구정 연세 모발 이식 센터입니다. 안내해 드릴 두피 이완, 운동의 효과는 다음과 같습니다. 모발 채취 양을 증대시키고 채취 부위의 흉터를 최소화할 수 있습니다. 그리고 수술 후 당김 증상 완화에도 도움이 됩니다. Monja, 그리고 하루에 적어도 10회 이상 반복해야 합니다. 2009 to make more accurate the strip removal methods during a follicular unit hair transplant and, at the same time, minimizing the risk donor scar complications. The mobile part has a rough surface that is going to be in touch with the patient's scalp. The measuring rod is a gauged rod. The tracing ring is a solid rubber ring that is positioned around the measuring rod and records the extent of mobility of the mobile part. The measurement points are middle and both lateral posterior occipital areas, both mastoid and temporal areas, with 5 cm interval. The measurement of this interval was more helpful on design the donor strip. First, straighten patient's back and neck. The mobile part is held by pressing the operator's thumb over the scalp, and then, moves the scalp up and down, to measure the levels of scalp mobility. This procedure was repeated, at the middle and both lateral posterior occipital areas, both mastoid and temporal areas, with 5 cm interval.
super easy approach, we recorded the laxity data, on the existing chart, used a simple stamp. SPSS version 20, was used in performance of data analysis. Differences were tested, using independent t-test and, correlation analysis. The study was conducted targeting 68 patients, who had undergone hair transplantation, at our clinic. The mean age is 33.8 years old. And, no statistical difference was observed between age, sex, side, and scalp laxity. In our data, the mean laxity of central occipital area is 1.9 cm, and the range is 1.5 to 2.2 cm. The scalp laxity is less elastic more laterally. In our preliminary study about, the effect and duration of scalp exercise, the scalp laxity was increased about 2 mm, and mean duration is 13.8 days. Preoperative scalp laxity exercise will loosen any tight scalp. The loxometer can be used to accurately determine the laxity of the scalp. In our preliminary study, we notice an improvement in laxity after two weeks. But, more data will be needed for acquisition of dependable result. Thank you.